Looking at the buildings around here, I mean, the Guthrie really sticks out. I love that blue colour and it actually reminds me of the concert hall in Copenhagen. And I just learned, is that right, that it's Jean Nouvel? That... Exact same architect, yes. The cool thing about this building too is you can see some people out here. There's a, a bridge that's thrust out oh, over the street. Yeah, yeah. And so when you're at intermission, you can take a glass of wine out there and you can enjoy the view. So it's beautiful. It's I can't wait to go in there. Yeah, it's pretty wonderful. So Erin, you live here. What is it that you love about this area? So this is the Mill District. And as you can see, we have the gold medal uh, flower. And across the bridge, we have Pillsbury. This was sort of the economic center of, of the city itself. And I think the thing I love most yeah. about it is that you're surrounded by nature. And you have this amazing Stone Arch Bridge, which is a pedestrian bridge. It used to be a railway line. So it used to take passenger trains and all the flower into the city. And now it's really great because in the last 20 years, they've really built this area back up into a residential center, but also an art center. And so we have the Guthrie Theater and we have McPhail School for Music and we have the Mill City Museum. So it's a really historical area. I love it. Yeah. And actually, I remember the first time I came down here that, that you invited me for a little walk and see the area. I immediately fell for the water, which is also so close to my heart yeah. at home. And this dramatic fall, I just love it so much. Isn't it gorgeous? This looks like a massive river to me. So the Mississippi River is the second largest river in the United States. And Mississippi is translated from the Ojibwe word for great river. Wonderful. There are places in Copenhagen that reminds me in terms of the atmosphere of this. We don't have anything as dramatic as this stone bridge. I absolutely love it. One day I'll show you the similar kind of place in Copenhagen. I just get the same kind of feel here. So uh, I look forward to exploring and walk around and look into the woods, have a little squall, find a cafe somewhere, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, there's so many beautiful walks around here. And I'm going to take you up on that Copenhagen offer. Absolutely. Yeah, so. I still remember um, my first visit over here and uh, we've had the first rehearsal. I was invited by Osmo and you to a dinner and we overlooked this place and I immediately felt this, this is a place I could fall in love with. And it's a place that I immediately felt I want to explore far more of the city, of the whole area. And I also see why Osmo felt really at home here. I want to thank you for showing me such an important part of the city. Well, it was so obvious when we had that first rehearsal day that you clicked so well with the orchestra and there was this feeling of trust. I wanted to make a good impression on you and, and <laughs> I wanted you to come back and I guess it worked out all right. It did. <laughs>